I was always attracted to Edinburgh um, because it's so, such a beautiful city and I was really, really appealed to me that you could do different subjects as well as just doing maths. I was quite overawed by the whole um, process of going to university and I was quite daunted by it but when I came to Edinburgh everyone was just so friendly. Um, I knew that I had a great maths course and then I came to have a look around and I really liked the city and I really liked the way like, it was situated. It's just got such a great atmosphere all the time and it's really vibrant <laughs> and bubbly and that's what I wanted. Not just this, the course itself but like the, the amount of things to do, so like societies and like sports clubs and uh, things in and around the city, uh, that's what, kind of what made me come here, it's great. Join Maths Oc. Yes, that would be join Maths Society. Join, uh -huh. It's not 100%. just, it sounds really geeky, doesn't it? You think, oh, maths suck. It's going to be, but we're all really cool, we're really fun. Um, and there's lots of social events that they run, and I think it's a really good yes. way for first years, especially, to make friends. The university has a really good reputation, which appealed to me, obviously. And I came and looked around on a lovely sunny day. I had to keep reminding myself it wouldn't look like that when I got here necessarily, but it so often has, and it's been a very beautiful place to study. My favourite ever course at uni was just this year, it was like called Maths Education and it was all about the different theories of how people learn maths and how people do maths and it culminated in getting to go into a primary school and teach the, and teach the kids maths, that was, that was totally great. I really enjoyed um, the interactive courses, so in first year we had one where we had uh, clickers so that we could answer questions during the lecture, I found that really helpful. The feeling of satisfaction you get when you do mathematics, like uh, when I understood this rather um, abstract structure while working on my dissertation, this is the most satisfying experience. Yeah. My favourite course was one of the third year courses we did last year and that was 100% down to the lecturer. He was so engaging and enthusiastic and you could just tell he really, really loved his subject. I think my maths degree has given me really good problem solving skills and that's something that employers are really looking for. Gained a lot of presentation skills yeah, uh -huh. uh, and group work skills through the various sort of projects and presentations we've had to give. The critical thinking involves the problem solving skills and just uh, it's, a lot of people wouldn't think that mathematics is a very social degree but it very much is, like you're collaborating all the time with um, teams, uh, working on projects, working on problems. Now I've graduated, I'm going to start work in August down in London um, at a small investment bank. Um, I did an internship there at the end of my third year and um, I got a lot of help through, from the careers service. In September I'm starting work for British Telecoms on their business management graduate scheme. In two months time I'm going to be starting at Ernst & Young doing tax. Now that I've graduated, I have a place to study to be a teacher. So I've got a job working back in Newcastle, where I come from, um, with the civil service to work for the Department for Work and Pensions. And I'll be doing operational research, so it's quite similar to the things I've studied in my degree. I'm going to London to do like a short internship with a drug development company and the research team, and then I'm coming back here to work with Tibor, one of the lecturers, to do a PhD and um, stochastic models of cancer growth. I have a place to study finance, a master's in finance. I'm going to do a master's in maths and computer science. You're able to go from maths into so many other things because it helps you. It's about like making logical arguments and that's a skill that you need for all, all subject areas.